If you've fallen down the Japanese city pop rabbit hole like myself and countless others, you've probably heard this song before. Sunset Road by Raiko Takahashi. It was released in 1987 and was rediscovered by the internet in 2018 after being featured on this compilation album. The track has become a fan favorite amongst the online community, but the mysteries surrounding its artists have left myself and other listeners even more intrigued. Plenty of artists become forgotten over time, especially if they had a short career or limited exposure, but for Takahashi, it's although she's vanished completely. Give her name a search and she isn't even the first Raiko Takahashi that comes up. There's only a handful of information available about this Takahashi, most of which isn't even reliable. So who is this mysterious singer? And more importantly, why are so many people interested in her story? Raiko Takahashi was born in Tokyo on August 17, 1968. She released two singles over the span of two years and according to this site, she made her music debut while attending the school. In 1986, she released her debut single, Love Song Wa Utainai, under the Victor label, featuring the title track and Only You. It was arranged by Akira Nishihira and the title track was used as a theme song for a Fuji TV drama. A year later, Takahashi released her second and final single, Sunset Road, featuring two songs, Sunset Road and September Blue. It was arranged by Keiichi Oku and composed by legendary singer Kingo Hamada. A vinyl copy of the single sold for nearly 300 US dollars on Yahoo Japan a few years ago, and there have been very few circulating online since. On the back cover of the vinyl, there is a text advertisement for the cassette version with an English cover included, but the only evidence supporting its existence are two Discogs users who claim to have it so I'm guessing it was never officially released. Both of Takahashi's singles sound great and are pretty distinct from each other. I Can't Sing a Love Song has more of an idol pop sound, whereas Sunset Road fits a city pop label. Her talent and versatility in vocals in these four songs is enough to justify a full album in my opinion, so it's a shame she wasn't able to make more music. Her entry on this idol site poses the question as to whether she was an idol, especially since she was supposedly included in a 1988 idol calendar. I would presume she was at the very least marketed as one. Takahashi's association with the Akiba tape also adds to her allure. Many have speculated that she's a singer behind the identified song featured on this cassette titled Fly Away. While the voice bears a resemblance, I don't think it's her. MDL lists Takahashi as an actor that played a guest role in the 2001 drama Maria. There isn't any other mention of this online, so I guess you could watch the show for yourself to find out. If true, maybe she focused on acting after quitting music due to the poor sales on her singles. I tried reaching out to Victor Entertainment myself, and received a response saying that they didn't have any information about her. Similar to Takako Mamiya's story, this Redditor claims to have contacted one of Takahashi's correspondences, who confirmed she's alive but that she wants to maintain her privacy. Although we may never be able to get a definitive answer, it's the most probable ending to this story. But for Takahashi, at least she can now see the millions of listeners who adore her four song discography. Thanks for watching. If you come across any new info about Takahashi or found anything interesting that I missed, feel free to let me know in the comments. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more City Pop content.